This episode of The General's Gentleman is sponsored by Galactic Civilizations 3. You are the leader of a spacefaring civilization where humans and aliens compete for domination of our galaxy, conquer through culture, diplomacy, technology, or military force. How will you rule your galaxy? Welcome to The General's Gentleman. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to, to Zero Hour. We are on a map that we don't do very often. Hard winter. Cool. Very, very cool. I remember we used to have some, some 1v1s on, on hard winter, so when we got kind of bored of melting snow, we had a, we had a few games on here. So. It's a brutal map. Yeah. You have... Your second supply is very far away, so you can harass that pretty easily. And then the middle supply is where the majority of the games are decided, because if you get your middle supply, it has two separate supplies which you can double mine from, but then on top of that, it just allows harassment into your opponent so much easier. So our players for today, Fargu, spawning in as our GLA Celsius Command Center. Our work is complete. And uh, Curious is the, the China Quick Airfield. Two of my favorite faction matchups. We are on the uh, 1.6 tournament. Top five replays, Pippa Peel. We can actually deny this this worker here too. That'd be yeah, sick. It would be awesome. Workers unfortunately not stealth when uh, building stealth tunnels. Oh, ho, ho. dodging away. Good stuff. Uh. Now, if Curious is, he actually destroyed it. Okay, I was gonna say if Curious could attack around that to try and reveal it. This is a sneaky worker. He's not revealed yet either. <laughs> Mini gun of V tunnel. It is being repaired though. Yeah. How many bullets does the mini gotta have? This is this is the real cast. I, I just love how stupid that tube looks, and like the muzzle fire isn't even lined up yeah. properly. Still, the rate at which the shell casings are coming out is actually pretty accurate, so that's cool. I think it's only firing a trace around like once every two or three rounds. Mm. A lot of games do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the helix has been revealed, and he's, he's infantry, so it's a super OP turbo bunker lix. It is indeed uh, the early. Inventory leaks, gotta love it. Uh, unless you're versing it, and you gotta hate it. And oh my god! It's like a, a constant stream <laughs> yeah. of, of rockets. It's, it's, it's in a liquid state. I forgot how disgusting that looks. Still, oh, we are man. on 1.6, so it's not as disgusting as it could be. But, a little uh, bit less mm. damage versus buildings. Yeah. But it, it, barracks dies still instantly. So that's gonna prevent tech terrors, which is good versus the airfield. And uh, there's actually a tunnel here. This is actually gets risky because he might see this and go, oh man. I can take this, uh, I can destroy this undefended supply, but Curious, knowing his opponent is stealth, and Curious isn't a MacBook noob, so he obviously doesn't go for that one, assuming okay. that there is a stealth tunnel nearby. And you are, you certainly are playing with fire when it comes to doing this against a GLA stealth. Quads can pop out of nowhere, directly Ooh, underneath you, and the, like the second of stealthy tunnels uh, appears. The mines have been revealed, remember. Fargo knows they're there, he's not going to just walk into it. So there's three quads, a lot of RPGs. This Helix is already wounded too, and he's he's actually cornered now. Dragon tank going straight for the supply. It might be worth just evacuing this Helix, because eight tank hunters are pretty damn scary. Yeah. Losing that Helix would be a disaster. Well, losing the RPGs, I mean, would be disastrous. Yeah. But sick firewall. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't get the supply all the tunnel there, but guess all the workers at least. The main thing to annoying uh, supplies coming in. We do have a few tank hunters getting popped down. It appears to be mini-gunner time, however. There are a lot of RPGs here on the ground. If you get finished off by the tank hunters and the outpost numbers are starting to build up, not suffering any damage from that early tech terror coming in from Fargu, and really coming off too bad when it came to that attack with the quad RPG push only dropping the supply. From now on, 8.48pm is mini-gunner time. That is GMT plus eight, yeah. so it's 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 twelve forty eight GMT meeting on the time. And round two, sneaky tunnel, just out of the vision of uh, that that building. Now, one of my favorite game knowledge is when it comes to Zero Hour, a game that has you know such crazy crazy vision for, for units like relative to map yeah, sizes, lost. knowing exactly where you can have a worker to build yeah. a tunnel while build it being outside of vision range. It's a hard skill to pull off, especially on different maps. All the CNC games have crazy vision like that when you compare it to games like StarCraft or I think even Company of Heroes has pretty small vision relative to unit size. 
doesn't quite get the tunnel there. So that, that outpost was cleaned up. I believe that was full of, of RPGs. Still... Alright, here we go. Finally, the... Looks like the top tunnel is going to be denied. He must have seen that, though. Because there's two RPG troops there. Simultaneous attacks are really nice. Obviously, you know, you run a risk when you're pushing a tunnel down where you're just going to get popped on, but if you send a couple of pronged approaches, so in this case, running a helix up one flight... Oh... oh. Is there terrorists somewhere? Or is he yeah, there are the terrorists. Oh yeah, nice. Actually, he doesn't get any detonations though. Also, just a shout out there, that was a sick firewall. He angled it so he wouldn't burn his own outpost. A, lo a lot of players would just burn their own outpost. Okay, this is a big push though. We, again, you know, four quads, too many quads when it comes to the helix. Pretty much going to be useless in this engagement. We need these outposts to rotate down. Dragon tank maybe built by some time with the firewall, but... Toxin gonna tractor going to burn the air. Oh wait, it's a toxin tractor. Oh, Helix. Oh, no. There's actually a quad pop there, but he will get destroyed. I, Helix goes down too. Last minute hit there. Max range. Toxin Tractor doing heaps of damage. All of a sudden, the very dangerous push. Made all the more dangerous by the fact there's a Toxin Tractor here. At least get over to the barracks. Be useful. <laughs> Contaminate it. It's like, Come on. <laughs> get out of here, Toxin Tractor. What is your purpose? What are you even for? Okay. The one building where it could be useful and it's not there. <laughs> Come on, Toxin Tractor. You're, you're better than this, man. See, if only the Toxin Tractor was there, it could have uh, denied those tank hunters. Unfortunately, we don't see that. Middle Supply has a bunker there, but it's a little bit short-staffed. Getting a little bit punished there by penalty rates. It's not, it's not Sunday today, so we can't make a joke about that. It's unfortunate. I, I bet so, you the so Americans much good are material like in Australian politics. So. Penalty rates, like what's yeah. that thing? <laughs> they, they probably don't have penalty rates, yeah. or at least it wouldn't be like a. a Dude, legal they thing. Just, so they don't even get paid. They just get paid in tips. Poor Americans. Yeah, yeah, man, that sucks. We feel sorry for you if you're on like American so, minimum wage or something like so, that. So let, let's clarify. Practice. So penalty rates is is you get like a increase in pay if you work, whether it's overtime, whether it's a weekend, or whether it's uh, like past. Uh, a certain time in the day. So if you're working overnight, night shift, you get yeah. pay increase. Kind of like time that is seen as more valuable to you. So like, you want to go out with your friends on a weekend or something like that. That, that time is valuable, so you get paid a bit more. For yeah, it, so and, and the, the main thing is that it's it's legally enforced. Yes. It's, it's a government thing. And I think probably Europe is the same, UK maybe, but America, I'm sure you would get paid more if you worked night shift, but you probably it probably isn't a legal thing. I know they also don't have things like redundancy payouts. It's an illegals thing. It's a what? It's an, it's an illegals thing. I don't get it. It's not a legal thing, it's an illegals thing. Is it no? No, I don't no, get it. Not, not getting the hang of that? Right, okay. Like, illegal citizens in the US, like working. It's not right. like that when it comes to rates and things, so. Not that I have a problem with that, it's just a play on words, so. Okay, yeah. sorry. Right, machine. Look, you, you can't get everything that I throw down. <laughs> I'm not expecting you to. You're right up there at about 90%, so that's pretty good. But back to our game of hand. Self Curious looking pretty good defending his hold on the middle of this map where there are still supplies aplenty to be plundered. Oh. <laughs> nice. Okay, this is a pretty oh. nice push though. There's a lot of RPG troops, so these outposts aren't lasting for very long here, and there's no minigunners to be seen. But this tunnel is pretty low, actually, so we'll get taken out here. Uh, oh no, he's walking the other tunnel. Oh man. Oh no! Uh, and the supplies getting focused down. Pretty sure he was unnecessarily force firing there. Because he wasn't shooting at the worker or the tunnel network, he was trying to predict where it is. He could have just walked up to it, acquired aggro, and then gone from there. Sell order doesn't go off on the supply either. Not very well played by Curious. Curious is running out of stuff, and this power plant's pretty exposed as well. Mm. Still has the supply in the back. And Lotus has arrived as well. Oh, Lotus can cap that oil, Derek. There's actually no capture upgrade, so that that minigunner there is uh, just a decoy, I suppose. Look, I'm going to capture the oil. Better, better send some units over to kill me. Mm. And that's a Super Lotus, so Super Lotus gets things done does, and uh, very useful against these 
Stealth tunnel networks as well. Loving that detection range, so. There's the first cap. Oh, Derek. Oh, in the Ooh. hands of Curious and uh oh. Well, I actually cancelled it. Lotus does cap pretty. Super Lotus caps pretty fast, yeah, but. Probably wouldn't safe. have got that off. I don't know, Blake. Never doubt the Black Lotus, yeah. Super Lotus capture speed. Should get a shutdown over the oil derrick here if Lotus is fast enough. Well, I'm actually going for the oil derrick just in case. Yep, gets it. Quads are cleaned up. ECM giving some great deflection there. Mm. It does go down. Good play by the Lotus. Thought she was going to go for a shutdown on one of the quads, but you know, oil derrick cap very important. Claiming that thousand. We we see Curious clean up those sneaky beaky tunnel networks. It's another important thing. Do we have capture upgrade? No. Okay. Not yet, but I'm assuming he's getting it now. Hopefully it gets, maybe it gets cancelled here with one oil derrick down and super lotus on the field. It buys some time because, well there's actually an oil derrick here, jeez, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Also the repair bay, that's pretty useful. But now it's two supplies for Fargu, but two oils to match that. Oh, nasty carpet bomb. I see timed with the dragon tank push as well. I think that was a bit bit close though, wasn't it? It, yeah. it? it wasted a few shells there. You may have got the supply given that there was no barricade upgrade. You can probably follow this one up. Okay. Oh. Oh. Get out of here, boys. Bail, bail. It's a toxin tractor. Run. Actually has some decent rocket resistance though. Yeah. Being a vehicle. So. But good uh, getaway. Yeah, a lot of uh, tank hunters inside of the, the outpost is quite important that actually gets away. Tiny using small, small amounts of units uh, tend to be pretty expensive. Uh, the, the, the dragon tank's repairing itself because of that tech repair bay. That's pretty, that's pretty OP. Very cool. So the capture upgrade has gone down. You see Rebel getting active. That'll at least keep Super Lotus off of Fargo's base. Oh, there's a minigun. Period of time. Nice. Bit of a noob though, you should be using the shock rifle. Real men use shock rifles. Real men do use shock rifles, so... I mean, did you really beat the rebel if you didn't shock combo him? <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no skill in the minigun. No, there really isn't. I feel bad every time I have to use it. Hell, sometimes I just switch straight back to the assault rifle, just because, you know, there's a, there's a bit involved there. Yeah, you I mean, the assault rifle actually has less skill, because it's like RNG where yeah. it sprays. Yeah, but right, you, just, yeah. you just throw the nades. Yeah. No, you, the nades, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you throw nades. five yeah. nades, then you go yeah. for your shield gun, yeah. and you're like, well, hope for the best. Yeah. I much prefer the Enforcer in uh, UT3. Yeah, it's the much, Enforcer much better is cool. weapon. Yeah. Overall, I think UT3 isn't a particularly good game, at least not in comparison to UT2004, mm. but the, the Enforcer... Oh, no! Doesn't get the cap in time. But the, actually, the original UT, or at least UT2000, I believe that has the Enforcer. Yeah. Well, one of those earlier ones did. There's certainly some cool aspects to those other games. You get double Enforcer, it's so yep. sick. Hey, can't you, um, gangster style? Like, yeah, the yeah, 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 like, in UT3 <laughs> you can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, know, I know that also the Enforcer has a bit of spray, like it's not full yeah. accurate, but it's nowhere near the assault rifle. I think a, a better default weapon is the, the machine gun in Quake 3. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because it, it's fully accurate, it's very, very low damage. Yeah. But the thing yeah, is with the assault right, the, the machine gun that's called in Quake 3 is that it actually has a purpose of some kind. It's it's still not very good for the most part, but occasionally you want to use it long range because it's full accurate. So if you don't have the rail gun, you want to use the, the machine gun long range. Whereas with, with UT, there's just no reason you would ever use the assault rifle because it's just crap. Mm -hmm. Unless you're maybe using the nades, but even then, you know. So, so far Curious has been a little bit un unlucky. He's Hopefully going to finish off this arm still. Yeah, Fargo's going to go down here. You are Makes victorious. Sense, so. Curious. I'm pretty sure what, what sold it is Curious finally got that sneaky beaky tunnel network that was down in the bottom left-hand corner. He threw right. like 17 dragon tanks at it and yeah. finally took it out. To that point, Fargo's like, no, nah, man, I'm still in this game. I've got a dragon tank. I've got a uh, tunnel network that close to Curious's base. But yeah, in the end, Curious sneaks through enough units, really nice dragon tank play, and... Uh, the RPGs just work, don't work out for Fargo, you can't crack the shells in time. Speaking of Unreal Tournament, this keyboard came from an Unreal Tournament 2004 tournament. 
Unless it was talk to me about unless it. it was the mouse, I can't remember which one was which because I won a, a um, Supreme Commander tournament and an Unreal Tournament tournament. I hate that name, Unreal Tournament tournament. tournament yeah. Unreal Tournament competition or, or a tournament for Unreal Tournament. I guess I guess if you say UT, you don't, you kind of rem- you lose that, don't you? Like a, yeah. the UT tournament. And it's, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, we like FPS games as well. We don't only play RTS. But, but cool FPS games. So. Yeah, not not like you're, <laughs> we're not, you're we're fucking not, We're not Ops. known to play Black Ops 2 very yeah, often. So, we, yeah. we didn't even buy Battlefield 1. No. Um, anyway. Played it. Not a bad game, but... Mm. No, it's not worth yeah, buying, not is Not worth it? buying. Yeah, I mean, I had my fun. You're all right. They have that 10 hours of free play, and it's like, I played it for eight hours. I'm like, I'm done with this game now. Yeah, like, yeah. Right, it, so, it's, yeah. I mean, you, you own Battlefield 4, right? Or at least Battlefield yeah, yeah, 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, if you want to yeah, play Battlefield, yeah. just fucking play Battlefield 4. It's the same thing, essentially. And everyone's going to get mad at me for saying that. But the games really aren't that different. And, um, yeah, I, I love Battlefield 3. I played it for, like, a lot of hours. But after that, Battlefield 4 was the same thing, essentially. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, thank you for watching. We will see you next time. We've got more Zero Hour 1.6 games to come. So look forward to it. We appreciate your company. Why edit in music when I can just have your phone playing? Living easy, living free. The season ticket on a one-way ride.